is a bitter herbs represent blood of Jesus. It completely what that means for eternal life, we ought to eat the word of God. Jesus came to this world in water and blood. That means This is a very significant uh, lecture uh, in terms of uh, how precious the flesh, flesh and blood of Jesus okay, uh, in relation to the Passover meal uh, applicable to our daily life. In our regular uh, teachings on this particular issue. Okay, now lecture 12 is a Passover meal, symbolizes the Jesus' flesh and blood. Okay, now here on January 15th. January 15th always regards as the evening after 6 p.m. of January 14th. You remember that, okay? Thursday evening, because Jewish calendar system starts 6 p.m. as a day, okay? Now here, here, Passover starts January 14th evening, 6 p.m. all the way to when? 6 p.m. the next day. 6 p.m., 6 p.m. That is a Passover day. Okay? Now here, Passover day begins according to Moses' teaching the Passover meal. Okay. Where is where Moses Exodus twelve verse eight uh, Moses was told by Jesus that on that day okay you ought to eat three three elements Three elements. Number one is the body, the meat of the lamb. Okay? But condition is not boiled. Okay? It should be burned. Burned. But it's important burned, but it's just burned and you eat in its entirety. Do not no leftover. If you find any leftover, please burn out before the dawn. You have to eat completely. What that means to us? Jesus died on the cross in his, com in his completeness. Okay, not a partial death. It's in complete sacrifice, complete death. That's the meaning. Burning. Burning means that. Okay, now here, first element is what? You eat the meat and burn the meat. Okay. Second part is unleavened the bread. It's a bread also symbolizes the body of Jesus Christ. But unleavened is no yeast, meaning unblemished, 
no sin his body is unblemished body no sin contain the body that's that's why we have to eat that unleavened bread okay third part is bitter herbs bitter herbs here is bitter herbs i explained to this bitter herbs is very important part here bitter herbs even here you know medical doctors takes the bitter herb is for detoxicator detoxicator toxic remover toxic killer toxic symbolizes our sins okay as you are eating bitter herbs meaning your sins will be forgiven will be removed see now a detoxicating process was found in the blood see in the blood in our blood white cell white cell works as a detoxicator in our blood white cell killing germs if you have you have to have a, a optimum level of white cell to protect from any diseases any toxics any contaminations white cell okay so now it's a bitter herbs represent blood of jesus blood of jesus okay that so the bitter herb blood of jesus now you have the body of jesus is what unleavened bread and meat burned meat the body of jesus and bitter herb is what blood of jesus blood of jesus the blood of jesus okay here now jesus said this you have to eat in john 6 he said you have to eat john 6 the body you have to eat the food the meat and unleavened the bread okay you have to eat the meat and unleavened the bread that is true food jesus said that true food in john 6 55 okay and also he said you must eat the true food for your eternal life for your eternal life without eating the true food then no eternal life okay so now this meat and unleavened bread that's the tangible food tangible food that stands for the word of god that the bread is the word of god okay so that is actually the word of god we have to study the word of god all the time you are eating now for eternal life we ought to eat the word of god meditate the word of god now that is not enough you have to eat with a bitter herb bitter herb bitter herb as i said it detoxicator white cell in blood that it that symbolizes the blood of jesus christ the bitter herb symbolizes the blood of jesus christ 
And Jesus said, that blood is a true drink. That's a true drink. John 6, 55. That is a true drink. The other, the, the body, you know, the meat and unleavened bread, bread it's a true food. It's a true uh, solid food. And the blood is a true liquid, liquid food. Okay? You have to, must drink for your eternal life. So, we need to eat two kinds of food. Okay? Solid food and liquid food for our eternal life. Okay? And later he said, to John here, this is a very important part here, John, he said this, John, Jesus came to this world in water and blood. He said that. See, Jesus came to this world in water and blood. That means detoxicator. Okay? Cleansing Removing our sins in water and blood. First John 5, 6. And he, he continued to say this. The water and blood is the Holy Spirit, he said that. The water and blood is the Holy Spirit. First John 5, 8. So now we have, okay, the word of God, that is what? Body of Jesus, and bread of life, and the blood of Jesus all together combined for our eternal life. Now, to show us this here, Jesus, he took the Passover meal. See, on the day of Passover day, on the day of Passover, he, he actually showed his disciples. Okay? And the bread, he took the bread, he said, this is my body. And the wine, this is my blood, and you must eat this, you must drink this, because otherwise you will not have eternal life. Yeah. So that was Passover meal, Lord's Supper. Okay. That story was recorded here in Matthew 26. That is, Matthew 26 is that January 15th. January 15th. Remember, January 15th. That's January 14th evening. Last Supper. This story was very much in detail in John. John has spent five chapters on that particular night stories. Beginning with John chapter 13 and 14, 15, 16, 17. You know, Gospel of John has 21 chapters. Out of 21 chapters, John spent five chapters. How many percent? Five out of 20. 21. Around 25%, okay? Yeah, about a quarter. One night event stories, the Passover stories was recorded and takes 25% of entire John gospel. That's one night story. That much John's emphasized on the 
Passover meal requirement and importance and teaching us how valuable the crucifixion of Jesus and his, the value of his body, his body and his blood for our eternal life. Okay? So today we have started triumphal entry of Jesus, which is what? January 10th? Okay? Then, four days testing stories, actual, his teaching on his identity, and after he finished four days, now he began the Passover meal in the evening of January 14th, which is the beginning of January 15th. Isn't it interesting? Yeah. I will continue on these issues next week. May God bless all of you and all of our people who will be learning out of this uh, website. May God bless all of you again. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> <laughs>